So there's the uh, the 91 Blue Dragons, Blue Dragon, and there's 153,000 coins for the uh, 102 Dragon modes as well. Not too bad. So that would be about 316k profit made just from what just from that one Blue Dragons task, which is always good. Although the experience for the Blue Dragons probably isn't the best, um, you know, per hour and things like that. But at this stage, I'm just trying to get a little, little bit of money under my belt so I can then buy uh, more supplies and things like that. So almost 600k cash, and I should be able to buy some more supplies. I might buy another Glory Amulet because um, this one's only got one charge left. So, you know, I guess, I guess we'll see how it goes. But um, I do need to buy some better gear because, you know, I don't really have too much gear in my bank. So I haven't long achieved 64 attack and 46 uh, Slayer. Now, it is quite difficult to record, um, I guess, me obtaining the levels because especially when I'm killing the trolls, um, as soon as I get that level, it doesn't, I guess, the little skill congratulations thing at the bottom of the screen doesn't really come up, um, which is a bit of a shame. And I always miss it as well. If, if I'm approaching a level, I can never... Um, I, you, like you don't get notified when you're close to a level or something like that, which is a little bit of a shame uh, because I do have to, I guess, record the clips after I actually achieve the levels. But I did get a screenshot of um, 64 or 46 attack. Oh, look at that! I'm 64 attack, and if you change the other round, I'm 46 slayer. So that's always that's that's a nice coincidence, co coincidence. But yeah, so 64 attack, 46 slayer. One more attack level of uh, 65 attack, and once I hit 50, 65 attack, I'll be able to enter the Warriors Guild and work my way up to be able to use the uh, the Rune Defender, which would be awesome. And then I need to work on doing some quests as well, because you know, in this, uh, especially in 07, quests are probably the main thing you guys want to be doing. Um, you know, because quests just unlock a, a whole variety of different things that you can um, unlock. I guess they they unlock a whole variety of different things. Um, that really benefit you in the long run, including like a Nezzy Helm, um, even my Fire Cape when I get, I guess, better stuff. If I get the, if I do the Elf City, I'll be unlock the Elf, the, the, the Crystal Shield. If you do Elf City, unlock the Crystal Shield, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think there's an Elf, I think Elf City is a quest. Okay, the Elf City is not a quest. I don't know what I'm speaking about, but, uh, uh, yeah, let's just, let's just imagine I didn't even say that, but yeah. Are you, I'm pretty sure, is it Rogue something? I'm not quite sure. But there is a quest that is needed to get the Crystal Shield. And once I obtain the Crystal Shield and all the Crystal Bow, I'll probably get the Fire Cape. But um, I may get it earlier. I'm not quite sure. But at the moment, I don't really know what, sh what cape to wear. Because I don't have any capes. I guess I could wear a Team Cape just for uh, cos cosmetic purposes. But right now, I'm just sticking with the obvious Accumulator. And it is completely redundant if I'm wearing Iron or if I'm wearing any sort of armor. Because it doesn't even attract arrows and stuff, and that's I guess that's main the main reason why you want to wear it around um, around Gilinois to attract those um, attract those little I guess the knives as well as arrows and stuff. But you know I don't really have anything else to wear on the back, so I guess the obvious accumulator will do for now. So that is the 14th task in a row completed. I've killed 144 trolls. Now it's time to go back to cheerleader and uh, you know see what she's going to give me, but. I'm going to have a little look in my bank, see if it has grown a little bit. I've got four Renar Seeds, which is quite nice. I believe I can actually plant the Renar Seeds right now. Um, let's have a little look, shall we? Herbs. So you do need 32 farming to plant the Renar Seeds, and I have 34. So that's always good. I can always go and plant those uh, Renars as soon. I guess I'll plant them as soon as I can um, to make me a little bit more money from there, because it will, I'd profit more from... Growing them and then selling them, which would be uh, which would be a bit a uh, bit more beneficial, as well as growing these limpwort seeds, because you know I can get, I believe, I'm not quite sure how many limpwort's per harvest, but the the limpwort's are quite good when it comes to herbal and things like that. But I'm gonna quickly grab my German stuff, and this is what I generally do when I when I complete a um, when I complete a a slayer task. What I would do is I just teleport to Lumbridge. And then I'll run through the, I guess this is called the kitchen here. And then I'm so glad that they um, implemented that little door there. It just saves so much time just running down here to cheerleader. And then once I've, you know, once I get down there, I'll be able to speak to her. And hopefully she'll give me, I don't know. I don't, I can't really decide what my favorite task is just yet. At the moment, I just would like a task that would give me good combat experience. And that will give me a little bit more money and I guess some supplies for training future stats and things like that. So that's, I guess, what I want out of a task right now. I just want to train my combat stats up. I want to get myself 65 attack. And uh, obviously, I am 65 strength right now, which is good. And as soon as I hit 60 defense, I want to buy myself some dragon boots. 
And um, if I can afford it, I would like a pair of dragon uh, legs or a dragon skirt or something like that. But I probably can't afford that right now. So that is, I guess, you know, a goal that I can achieve in the uh, in the future. Here we are. Desert lizards. I'm pretty sure that these guys are an absolutely rubbish task. So that's 47 slayer just achieved right now, and I'm doing a. I'm currently doing a desert lizard task here in the desert of Alcarid. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if I like this task or not. Now, you know, I just don't like the fact that I've got to be in the desert because the desert is probably my most hated place on this game, um, simply because of just the water supply and things like that. Um, but then again, it's not, you know, I don't, I don't hate it, but it's sort of a place that I'd rather not be. But then again, I'm trying to figure out whether these guys are actually pretty decent experience as well. Like, um, I was probably about 500 experience off of my Slay level, and I, I you know, I forgot about that. The fact that I was uh, so close to a Slayer level, and then bang, 47 Slayer. So these guys seem to be pretty decent experience. Um, I'm probably not going to be skipping these guys in the future because I do want my Slayer points to eventually get my Slayer helmet. Um, and also, we are approaching uh, 65 attacks. So the next clip should be me getting 65 attack. And then after that, I should hopefully be getting myself the Rune Defender. And uh, once I've done that, I'll probably just do a bunch of more quests, um, get my defense up a little bit to 60, and start getting some Dragon Gear. So that's sort of the plan right now. Um, and yeah, so let's get cracking with, I guess, 65 attack. And before 65 attack, here we go. So this should be the ending of the, uh, obviously, the 65 attack spree. Now it's time to switch over to my defensive uh, style so I can get that 60 defense and then buy myself the Dragon Boots. But for the time being, I think what I'm going to do is I've got 34 more Lizards to go, but I've only got one more uh, Water Skin left to use. Now, I'm probably going to stick around here to try and get those 34 Lizards killed, but um, hopefully the, the Desert doesn't kill me too much that I've got to leave. So, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing worse than getting close to finishing a task and, um, you know, having to rebank. So I'm going to try and get this done and, I guess, go to the Warriors Guild and get me a Rune Defender. So I've just finished the um, the Desert Lizard task and, you know, in hindsight, actually, I do enjoy doing that task. The experience per hour with regard to Slayer, especially at level 47, isn't too bad, as well as, you know, it does give quite decent combat experience. Plus, the task doesn't take too long and, you know, you also get 10 points um, once you've completed your 15th Slayer task. And I've got to exit this place, put my Draven Staff back on, and then go back in here so I can get to cheer. There we go. I can back get back to cheerleader now and get me a new task. Pyre Fiends. Ooh. That's enough of Slayer for a little while. I'm going to go over to the Warriors Guild and start killing me some... Um, oh, firstly, I need a Mithril Armor set. So I'm going to need to go buy myself a Mithril Armor set so I can then get my tokens and make my way up to the top floor of the Warrior, the Warrior Guild and get me some defenders, I guess. So then I can get back to slaying when I am probably... Hopefully, I'll be 60 defense before I continue slaying as well as get a rune defender. So that should be nice. I'm um, going to go buy myself a mithril, um, mithril plate body. No, a mithril, mithril armor set now. But, uh, you know, that's all for episode three of the Prime. Hopefully this is the last clip of the Prime. But apart from that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode.